Hey crow friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I am finally reviewing one of my most requested curly hair product tutorial review requests which is by a brand called Lus. Lus love your curls. No matter what the topic of the video that I posted was, it could be a video about dogs and I get a comment saying, can you please review Lus? So uh, here we are. So in the Lus Love Your Curls collection, there's a shampoo, a conditioner, and a styler. Their whole motto is less is more, quality over quantity. So when you look to purchase the Lush products, you're gonna get their shampoo, which says step one, then there's their conditioner that says step two, and then, depending on your curl type, you choose one of their stylers. So there's a wavy, curly, or kinky product. Now, I think this is amazing because that's what I'm all about. If you guys have watched my channel before, my other videos, you know I'm a one product type of girl. There's no reason why you should be using seven products layering on top of each other trying to find this perfect cocktail to get perfect curls. Like that's doing too much. I always say if you're using more than three stylers, one of those stylers ain't doing anything. Like at that point, how do you really know? So I am a strong advocate of using one styler and I love that that's exactly what this brand is all about. Now let's talk about the packaging of these bottles. They're definitely very unique shaped. You know, they're like these little oval bottles. The shampoo says that it's sulfate free right on the top. Sulfate free shampoo. I love when brands are just blunt about what's not in there. It says this is their step one with shea butter and moringa oil. All curl types, love your curls. And on the side of it, it says free of sulfates, silicones, parabens, paraffin, phthalates, uh, mineral oil, gluten, like, you know, all the bad stuff. The conditioner also says right on the top, silicone free conditioner. Notice how it says silicone free and not sulfate free because we should just know that sulfates are usually in shampoos and not in conditioners. And I hate when brands try to fool us and say like, oh, our conditioner is sulfate free, but it's not really supposed to be in there in the first place. But I digress. Silicone free conditioner, step two, also with shea butter and moringa oil, all curl types, sulfate, paraben, silicone free. Both the shampoo and conditioner are 8.5 fluid ounces and they retail for $16 a piece. The stylers are 8.5 ounces as well. They have a little pump, also sulfate, paraben, silicone free, and these retail for $18. So technically, if you were looking to buy the shampoo, the conditioner, and the styler for your hair, it would cost about $50 to get all three. But on their website, if you do buy all three at once, you can get all three for $45. I'll make sure to put a link below in the description box so you guys can check it out, shop, and learn more about the products. So I actually have two stylers here today because I wanted to see which one will work best for me and I wanted to show you guys both of them to compare. I didn't get the wavy one because my hair is far from wavy, but I could see myself possibly using both the curly and the kinky. So today I'm gonna do a full wash day routine and we're gonna put these products to the test. So I'm gonna show you how I use my shampoo in the shower, the conditioner to detangle, and then I'm gonna show you a side-by-side -side comparison of the curly versus the kinky. So let's get started. All righty, it's shower time. Let's fix these curls. I'm grabbing my Lust Step 1 shampoo, and it actually is clear and more of a jelly consistency than I was expecting, and I didn't really notice any smell. I much rather have no smell than a bad smell. I know a lot of you guys are sensitive, so this might be perfect for you. Another thing I like to look for when using shampoo is if it bubbles up, and as you can see, it does lather even though it doesn't have any sulfate, so I like that. I then grab my Vanity Planet Scalp Massaging Hairbrush, which you guys should know by now I use on every wash day just to help stimulate hair growth and pick up any product buildup that might be on my scalp. I think I have a promo code in the description box. And then I'm gonna rinse it out and grab my less conditioner, step two. And notice that this also doesn't really have a smell, but I don't mind it. So I split my hair into two sections like usual, and then I rub it through my hair. The interesting part about this conditioner is that it actually had some type of lather. Like see all this white suds happening? That was interesting, but it definitely felt very, very moisturized. 
it had good slip, so I don't know why the bubbles were there, but it did the job. And then I thought, you know what? I probably put too much conditioner. Like this is a lot of suds. And one of their mottos is to use less product than we usually have to. So on the other side, I used a little bit less to see what would happen. I started to smooth it through. And then I realized I still wanted a little bit more conditioner. And then I saw the creamy suds again, but I really don't mind it as long as my curls are getting moisturized and it's easy to detangle. After all that conditioner and detangling, I rinsed it out. Now it's time to style while my hair is still damp. I'm grabbing the curly and the kinky products and I will be using one on one side and one on the other. So starting off with the curly one, Let's see how this works. So it has a pump, I'm doing a couple pumps. Still don't really notice any smell, but I do like the consistency and it feels very moisturizing. So I'm gonna smooth this all throughout my hair and then I like to scrunch it back up for definition. Now for the other side, I'm grabbing the Kinky product and let's see how this one goes. Hmm, pump just didn't want to work today. <laughs> it's kind of why I prefer to squeeze bottles, but you know, we could still make it work. We're just gonna pull this out of here and uh, take what we need and keep it pushing. Also, no smell, don't get it on your nose. Rubbing it together, and I notice that this consistency is a little bit more thick. So that's kind of what I would expect if you have kinky hair or it's a little bit more coarse, you need thicker products. So smoothing this on my hair, still easy to detangle, moisturize, you could see a little bit of product staying on my hair. So once again, a little does go a long way and I think I just used too much again. My hair does not need that much, but I'm gonna scrunch it out and still make it work. Now I'm gonna let this air dry and we'll see how it looks. And I'm back, it is now dry and we can discuss the results. So this side once again had the curly product and this one had the kinky product. Now, just right off the bat, there's not a huge difference between the two. I was expecting this one to be a little bit more flat because it was a little bit heavier, but I think it looks about the same. So here's the kinky side. My curls are very shiny. They definitely feel moisturized. Some pretty good definition, nothing like crazy. And here's the curly side, just as shiny very soft and both of these products don't leave any cast so there's not really much hold at all so if you don't like products that get crunchy and you want your hair just to be soft at all times you're gonna love these products i personally do like a little bit of a cast that crunch just lets me know that it's gonna last all day let me just shake it out a little bit let's see how much volume we can really get on day one Not bad. I like this volume that I'm getting. All right, that actually looks really good. I'm glad I fluffed it out. Kinky side, curly side. Not bad for day one. So first day was a success. I am gonna try this again tomorrow. So I'll come back and show you those results. Good morning, it is now day two. I slept with my hair in a pineapple, but let's see how it did. All right, so definitely a little frizzy, a little fuzzy. Not as defined as yesterday, which is usually what I expect when my products don't have any hold or crunch. So once again, this is why I like the crunch because my day two, three, four, five hair is a little bit more defined. Okay, now my hair is a little bit more damp and I'm gonna apply the Lust Love Your Curl Step 3 All-in-One for curly hair. This one was a little bit lighter, so I think it's gonna be a little bit better for my hair, even though I didn't notice a huge difference. Three little pumps. And I'm going to smooth this all through my hair. All right, 
and we'll let this dry and see how day two looks. And I'm back. My hair has dried. Now the interesting part about my refresh day is that there actually is a little bit of hold. There's a very slight crunch. I don't know where this was on day one. Maybe my hair was too wet or had too much moisture so that cast was just like not sticking on, but there is definitely a little bit of hold today, which I'm very, very happy to feel. So here's a close up on how my curls look now that they're nice and refreshed, way more defined than this morning. And I'm excited to see how it looks now when I pick it out and use my diffuser. This is, this is very interesting. I was not expecting these results based off of my day one hair and how it looked when I woke up in the morning, but the refresh day is pretty fire. I'm loving how my curls look right now. I think the cast is pretty much gone, but I needed that initial cast to scrunch out and also to use while I'm diffusing. So now my hair is perfectly soft, but still really defined and I'm getting great, great volume. So lesson learned, of course, I don't think you should judge your products off of a one-time use. You'd be surprised on your results if you give it another try, maybe to apply it a different way. I never really like my hair on day one anyway, so I'm glad that I showed you guys my refresh day because this is really, really nice. So overall concluding thoughts, I think that both the curly and the kinky product worked very well. If I had to choose one, I'd probably continue to use the curly one just because it's a little bit lighter. But if you have thicker, coarser hair, I do think you would like the kinky one instead. So who are these products for? I think that if you live in a humid area, there might not be enough hold to get you through the day if you're gonna wear it down. I really believe that if you are in humid weather, you just need a gel so you could have that little bit of a hardness so that the weather will soften it out by the end of the day. So if you start soft, it could possibly get frizzy. If you don't live in a humid area, I think this product will be perfectly fine. You'll get the volume and the softness that you desire. If you do not like crunchy curls, I also think you will love these products because you're getting great definition, great volume, and your hair is still very soft to the touch. And just so you guys know, LUS stands for love yourself. The U is spelled you are. And that is because I really want you to embrace your natural curly hair, love yourself while it's curly, and use products that will make you feel confident in your curls so you don't have to straighten them. And I'm all about that message. If you have tried these products before, please leave me a comment down below and let us all know how well they worked for you. And please let us know if you have wavy, curly, or kinky hair. If you enjoyed this curly hair product review, there's much more where that came from. So make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. And if you don't wanna wait until the end of the week, you could just follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. That way you can get daily tips, product recommendations on the daily. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.